Boom, boom. What up, guys? It's your boy, NBO Champ, man. Welcome to the episode, Game to Know NBO Champ. And I'm saying today, workout going to be in sync, going to be aggressive, explosive. You know what I'm saying? We're about to do some big back workout today with my brother, I can move. And we're going to just lay down some couple of a journey story, how we started, how the grind started, how NBO Champ came all about. So stay tuned, all right? How did you get into fitness? I got into fitness. Well, let me say I started taking fitness serious. Um, 2012. 2012. 2012, I started taking fitness serious. Meaning serious, meaning like the whole dieting, uh-huh. eating correctly, and like training. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always had an athletic built. I come from an athletic background, football my whole life, so, okay. you know what I'm saying, definitely was, was, was always in me, you know what I mean? So boom, how did you meet and your champ? How did you guys meet each other? Uh, basically, uh, me and Chant, we had mutual, a mutual friend. Uh-huh. Um, you know, my brother came home from his a little incarceration situation, federals, you know, little. And um, I was home on my football break. Uh-huh. You know, they like the big L.I.B., he home, he home, huh? Yeah. So you know me being competitive and being, yeah. I'm like, well, who is he? I want to meet him. Uh-huh. So um, we went at, met at a park in Newark. Uh-huh. That's well known called Weekway Park. Right, right, right. Um, get out there in the park. I'm warming up, running my little sprints up and down the track. And Chant finally pulls up. Guy gets out the car full of energy. Energy always been on the thousand, man. Wow. But let me tell you, I never met a guy that was so ripped in proportion like this guy ever. I played sports my whole life, never wow. seen it, Cuddy. Uh-huh. So that's kind of a quick little. You know, brief little how me and Champ kind of met. Word on the street is that you used to have to drag Akimu out the house to come work out. That's what I I don't know, but you know, now is that true? When we worked out the park, you know what I'm saying? The energy you brought. Like I could see the gift, you know what I'm saying? That hard work, that that mentality he had, like that, that that animal mentality, that soldier mentality, that not giving up mentality, my man. You could, do, you know, see that potential, like yo, my man. Even though we're doing 20 reps, but if I get 15 or 10, I'm still in it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, this kid is hungry, man. You feel me? He was playing football at that time, but you know, being in North. You know what I'm saying? Very distracting and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was telling him, I said, bro, you know what I'm saying? He heard his angle, so he wasn't playing like how he's supposed to be playing, so he moved to Nork. I said, bro, listen, if you take the fitness stuff serious, you're going to be a millionaire because the, the grind, that, that hunger you got, yeah, yeah. it's going to take some time, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take some time, but you just got to... Believe in the process. So what I used to do, I used to pick him up in the morning uh-huh. and take it to. We used to work out a gym called Guys Gym, all the way in Hawthorne, New Jersey. In Hawthorne, New, 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 New Jersey, I'm doing my set. He running spring outside. Wow. <laughs> he running uh, like a, a dash. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. And come back like yo, who next? Football. Yeah, running a football drill outside and do his set. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And that was like damn. Like, you know what I'm saying, that hunger, you know what I mean? Hunger, so yeah. when I saw that, I said, man, you know what I'm saying, I don't care what it is, mm-hmm. I'm gonna drag this, you know what I mean, I just don't drag, like, yo, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. He was like, man, listen, I'll do it tomorrow. Nah, we gotta go right now, right, man. Right, right, you know right, what right. I'm saying? So right, it's just been right, like that, I wasn't, you know what I mean? I, I wasn't gonna let him give up, man, because I saw that potential in that hard work, that dedication, okay. you know what I'm saying? For me, coming from where I was in, in our box, mm-hmm. I see a lot of people that had that heart, mm-hmm. but, you know what I'm saying, and end up in a situation where they would never come home again, you know what I'm saying? And they could have used that hard work, right, 
and be patient on the streets uh -huh. and turn that into something better, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. What's your favorite body group to train? I always, for some reason, love legs, man. I legs? was kind of the, okay. I was kind of the, the like, leg guru. Uh -huh. uh, I remember back in um, 15, 2015, um, Instagram, I was real, Real raw. Yeah, and Cuddy. You ain't got no legs. Yeah, it was like if you wasn't training legs, uh -huh. you couldn't say nothing to me. Okay. I ain't really care about back, chest, or, uh -huh. or all that, man. It was legs. legs okay. Squat. Let me uh -huh. see some. Right, right, right. Because I felt like, you know, without legs, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing yeah. Upper body stuff is just good for the camera. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Legs that actually help that whole body grow. Foundation, man. Okay. So more legs. I lean to the legs. The chat lean to the back. I know that you don't have a lot of weaknesses, right? Looking at you. But if I can say, in your opinion, yeah. what's your weakest body group, in your opinion? Man, I would say my weakest body part was my legs, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't focusing on my legs when I was coming up in fitness. You know what I'm saying? It was all about pull-up, push-up, and dips, and we would do, like, duck squats, you know what I'm saying? And we would probably do, like, squat with the cars, with a deck of cars, flipping the cars, whatever number come out. But it was all about catastatics, you know what I mean? Until when I got into bodybuilding in 2012, and I did my first show, and the judges, everybody was laughing at my legs. So I'm like, it wasn't weak, but the idea is that that's why I needed to focus on it more. So I started, I started a 45 days last transformation. So for 45 days straight, we was doing legs for me to get adapted to it, for me to love it. Since I don't love doing you, I'm gonna do you for 45 days straight, every blessing day, until it become part of my DNA, it become part of me. So. Anytime I'm ready to do you, do less, it shouldn't be no excuses, you know what I mean? So that's how I become, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Work on that. On that though, man. Like in this sport, honestly, uh, me being around fitness and me being in the game, I just honestly feel like um, like you can never not have enough of, uh, 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 enough of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like your legs, may not be weak but you cannot have enough legs or your back may not be weak but you you always got room to approve you know what i'm saying so me just doing my past um competition saturday um last saturday excuse me you know what i'm saying honestly yeah got wheels but do they need to approve yes you know what i'm saying so yeah you always gonna work on the body parts and prove it though Cuddy, you got your own company now you, you started with your brother. Yeah. I want you to talk a little bit about your company and how you feel about starting your own movement. And is this to all this family? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, um, how do you feel? Basically, um, as you guys know, um, me and Champ, well, Champ is the CEO of uh, um, Indio, you know, the Indio Nation. You know what I'm saying? But me and my brother, kind of joined forces back in um, 2012. Mm -hmm. So basically, me and my brother, Indio Champ, been carrying the no days off um, throughout the city, state to state, for over nine, 10 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, basically, this came to a point where I felt like it was the right timing. Mm -hmm. um, me and my brother both established in this game well known so i felt like it was you know right timing to go ahead and and start my own you know what i'm saying llc own brand and all that i mean as far as me and my brother though uh it's nothing unbreakable and nothing that could break us is this a point in your life where um business wise certain things you just have to you know business is business Brother friendship is brother friendship. Right, right, right. So you can't never really kind of get that in a mix. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Or you can't really never feel no tight way about none of that. Mm -hmm. No jealousy, no envy. 
everything's all love, you know what I'm saying? Let them know it's all love. Like, just because you got your own thing don't mean that. You still don't got yeah, your brother's no, back. Man, cool. Come that's on, the you know you still got your brothers yeah, you back. Got some of these jokers they hit my page, yo. Yeah. Hot. Why you got the Indio? Yeah, yeah. I'm forever Indio. Nah, Indio for life. Man, champ, start is is never gonna it's not never. be Indio, Indio Hawk or yeah yeah. yeah. Back, so back. definitely, Cuddy. But you know when people looking from the outside in, mm. that's what they want though. Yeah. The and, they, and they want the negativity yeah, and to feel like oh Hawk champ beefing. Yeah, they beefing. Yeah, yeah. Never beef with. His brother Seth on the same floor with me. We broke bread together, bro. So it could never, ever be nothing in my heart that's like anger towards my brother. The success he got, I built off that. You know what I'm saying? The success I got, he built off that. So that's that's it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Lifestyle, man, you know, I mean, for a great interview. Boy, this drip together, man. And yo, Mike. Nice. Yeah, we working, man. Shout out to my, my bro, you know what I mean? I can move. Enjoy me in this workout, man. Talk with any old champ in the building, man. You know what I mean? We working. No days off. Anybody that you want to see me work out with, tag them. Flag them down. Tell them don't be scared. Pull up on the champ. I feel like we're a lot of the fans.